Is it is my ano is my voice chop still choppy? Sabog lang po sir. Ah, sabog. Wait. Very clean naman. Aha. Let's just use directly yung ano. Hello, hello. Okay na ba? Okay na ba? Hindi na, hindi na choppy. Okay na po siya, sir. Okay, sige. Um, so, going back, uh, we'll create a back end and then, um, we'll first create yung back end and then we'll create yung front end so that you'll see how things happen in terms of like doing yung, ano, yung web as of today. Then we have we will just deploy this on let's say Netlify or Firebase and then this one maybe we can just use nga yung sa Git pod as as is. Uh, and then meron tayong um, database. So we will be using MongoDB for this one just for the sake of easiness. But uh, in terms of usage of database, ano dapat gamitin na database, um, we will discuss it. Uh, in our lecture. So, as of the moment, ito muna. Now, there is also a part here na ang sabi ay with Open API. What is Open API? Open API is a initiative or a standardization where we, we design APIs in such a way that it's easier to um to design kung ano man yung gusto nyong mangyari or yung gusto nyong maging um set up sa sa API ninyo so what we will be doing here is to use open API specifications to design our API and then use um our back end framework to be able to create documentation para hindi na kayo gagawa ng documentation using markdown and all. So, so okay. So, let's just start creating our own um, backend. So, let's uh, have it as CS, uh, CMSC 100 um, uh, AY 21 S1 backend. Um, so, ayan. And then, I'm just going to use yung description as is. It's a public. There's a readme. Uh, and then, we'll add git ignore for node.js. And then, our license would just be, um, well, we're going to use Apache license too. Um, and then, ayan. So, I'll create a repository. And then, automatically, meron na tayo. So, I'll click on Gitpod para mag-create siya ng ano, dashboard. Okay, so waiting lang tayo. Gusto natin ng music. Ano ba ng music? Okay, wala na. Yan. So, ngayon, ang gagawin ko, because this is a Node.js, I'll start with an initialization para maging Node.js talaga siya. So, um, there's a package name. Uh, okay, there's a package name. Um, then, I'll start with 0. Uh, 0. 0. 0.1. So, this is a Semver uh, version. So, that means... This zero is your major, minor, and then patch. So we'll start with po, uh, 0 0.0.1 para maging ito talaga yung versioning natin. And then, uh, wala mo ng description. And then the entry points is index.js. Test command is um, um, mamaya. And then git repository is what we have set. And then, keywords, wala muna. Author is my name. 
and as sabi ko nga Apache 2.0 yung license um uh no, sorry license should be um Apache 2.0 uh, uh okay so Apache 2.0 yan um yes and then that's created yung ating package at JSON. What we will need to do is um, use module uh, true. Module true nga ba yun? Let's see. Module um, npm. Um, 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 uh, Node.js package JSON. Ah, type module pala. Sorry, nalimutan ko na. Type module. This allows us to use import rather than um, uh, require. So, kapag titingin, titingin kasi kayo, may import, export, or require. So, I'll, I'll show it later para lang makita nyo, but um, ang isang practice na gusto kong makita on our project is whenever you add a particular file or something and you want to group it into commits, you have, um, you can use ito. So, ito, i-add nyo siya as stage changes. And then, um, you uh, typically write ano yung description ninyo, or uh, yung describe nyo kung ano yung ginawa nyo. So, sa akin, I would start with, let's say, uh, a particular um, uh, type of yung ginawa ko. So, it's a chore. Um, add a package.json file. So, that's the description. So, anong klaseng format ito? Um, I'll just enter muna. Eh, and, um, not enter. Uh, I mean, control, enter. That's how you commit doon. And then, automatically get push agad para um, lagyan. So, ang ginagamit ko ay yung committee zen. Um, so, there's a way to... Um, Ano yung... Asa na nga ba yun? Command. Asa uh, na ba yun? Resources. Uh, wait lang. Commit. Uh, Lint. Uh, format. Template. Uh, Ayan, conventional commits pala, sorry. So, for conventional commits, there's a type, yung optional scope, and then description. So, ang, ang type can be heat, fix, uh, or chore is a yung type ano bang pwedeng possible types pa uh, full specification tingnan natin so fit fix so i'll just send na lang dito yung ano yung yung specification so that you can you can see it but um Ang ginagawa ko ay so, uh, there's an Angular convention. Uh, let's check. So, there, these are the types na lagi kong ginagamit which is using yung Angular convention. So, you can also check dito. Um, I also put it on the, ano, on the on our um, page itself. But the thing is, uh, if you are doing yung mga CI builds uh, or 
sorry, not CI builds, but changes the build system or external dependencies. You use build. CI is uh, changes on your um, continuous integration. Docs, if it's just documentation. If there's a new feature, feed. Uh, fix, kapag bug fix. Performance, if it uh, revolves around um, improving the performance. Refactor, if you need to um, change anything that yung gusto mo lang talagang ma-refactor yung code nyo but doesn't um, fix a bug or adds a feature. If it's like styling, like um, white space, formatting, and then test is you're adding uh, additional tests. So, yan yung ano, yan yung type um, and so on and so forth. So, and then yung subject is yung ano nga, yung description na pinakita ko kanina. So, so if you look at git log, so, may kita nyo, ayan, yung type, I added a chore na wala dito. Um, it's more of like a additional chore lang talaga siya. And then, kung ano man yung ginawa kong action. This allows me to know, or this allows others to know kung ano yung ginawa nyo dun sa um, repository nyo. Uh, seeing kung ano yung um, naging changes. Okay ba guys? So, I press Q para mag-quit lang doon sa GitLog. And, um, uh, ha. So, now, ang gagawin natin is to install ito. Um, Fastify. Now, why did I use Fastify instead of Express.js? For those who are in the know already on Node.js, there is Express.js which is mas gamit na gamit. And now we're, um, I'm introducing Fastify. So why Fastify rather than Express.js? So there's this web framework. Um, ano nga ulit yun? Web framework. Benchmarks, ayan. Web framework benchmarks. Na kapag tinignan natin, we look at it, at the end, the results, and then we compare only yung asan na siya? Nawawala ako. JavaScript. We can look at JavaScript. There's this, Fastify which is much faster, or I mean, it has l larger requests per second than Express.js. So, that is one. The other thing is, why not yung, mga, yung nasa pinakataas? This one has a larger community that can, um, well, not larger, but has a substantial community to support yung system. So, we'll install this. So, docs. Um, uh, home na lang. Ayan. So, npm install fastify. We copy this one. And instead of like copying and then ano, save agad. Para mapupunta agad siya sa package.json. So, again, git uh, add our um we can also do this, git add all, para yun yung gagawin. Git commit. Sabi natin namang build, um, add pastify in depths. Git push. So, okay. Part na siya nung ating setup. Once done, you can add a file, index.js. We can also add a starting script. Um, actually, we can have this. And then, instead of just using node, like node index, uh, so, I'll just do this, ah. Console.log hello world. So, kapag ginawa natin to kasi, node index, Pag ginawa natin yan, so npm start, isang beses lang siya mag-run. 
but if we install npm i save dev so on the development side hindi siya part ng dependencies talaga you just do this node mon so mapupunta siya sa ilalim dito so ayan and instead of using node we use we use node mod i'll split the screen para makita niyo yung nandito so if we do again yung npm start um magiging ano na siya um magiging running na siya forever in essence uh anything na baguhin ko, kunyari, no, hello world 2, pagka sinave ko to, irirun niya ulit yung npm start, or yung, yung node index. So, that means anything that you change in your repository will be watched, and then, um, magre-reflect agad. So, hindi mo kailangang i-exit yung server, tapos restart mo ulit, and so on and so forth. So, what we did just now is, Actually, uh, I can add muna ito. So, feet add index.js. Enter. Tapos, itong dalawa. Um, build add um, node mon. Okay. So, tapos, git push. Now, anong gagawin naman natin dito sa ating, ano, um, we'll add an SRC later, which which we will be using. And then, for this one, balik ulit tayo kay Fastify. And, uh, what we will need to do is, um, actually, we can copy this. But instead of like yung copying it as is, we'll add a file dito, app.js, for the sake of ano. Uh, now, instead of using this, um, we will uh, use, ito yung sinasabi ko, without the, without the type module, we will use itong require. Pagka may type module, we will need to use yung import um, import uh, fastify is equal, uh, from fastify. Now, instead of using ito, what we can do is const app is equals to fastify um, we can create a start start uh, or a function um, function uh, no export function um, start which is uh, we are having an options so what we can do here is we automatically add a documentation because we have created a function here. So, this starts the um, server. Uh, this function starts the server. So, given the function, um, I should change yung ating uh, settings to tab size 2 and then um, nasaan yun? yeah, okay na so, okay, so tab size 2 so spaces tayo um, once that we, uh, once set um, we use nga ito const app options so it's actually doing this because we are getting itong fastify ito as parang ang itsura niya kasi is const f is equals to require um, fastify and then const fastify is equals to f 
logger true. So, parang si Northcat nung example. So, ang ginagawa lang natin is, ito yung options, itong part na to. So, we can also define yung default niya, which is logger true. So, that means if we, do, if we don't put anything on the options, ito yung gagamitin. And then, ito yung ilalagay dito sa options. So, ganyan siya. Now, after that, we just, uh, let's say, app dot, ito nga, app dot get. This is how you say that, uh, but using the root, we create a asynchronous request um, reply na, ano, na function. So, this is another way of creating a function. And then, we just say na asynchronous then yung function na start. And then, we just return a hello world na API from here. Then, itong pag-run ng server is um, we copy this out sa index.js where we Um, import where we import um, our app oh not app start uh, from the src app.js and then from here uh, let's just use na lang ano instead of start um, ano pwedeng pangalan ng ano <coughs> Uh, server na lang pala, sorry. So, server. Then, once that is done, we get yung, ano, yung server itself. So, um, app is equals to server yung ating, ano, ating and then we use at at also up that um up that error uh, up that log that error and then start so yeah nakikita niyo nagkakaroon ako ng error um it's coming from app is not defined on index.js uh we should return pala to because we have created an app. So, ngayon, um, meron pa ba? Uh, let's rerun lang talaga. Okay, so, hindi pa. Uh, sir, ano po ulit exactly ginagawa natin ngayon sa backend? So, we're just building the server itself, yung backend server. So, yun yung ginagawa natin ngayon. So, this is how we are building building the server. So, we have created a function that builds the server. Given an option, we create a um, pastify option. Um, and then, app.get dot, app dot and then we return yung app. So, from here sa index.js, we import yung function na yun. Teka, let's see, console.log app. Tingnan lang natin kung may i-return siya. Ah, because it's a pending, so await, sorry. Kailangan pala ng await. I'm so sorry, nalimutan ko siya. Ayan. So now it's running. I'll explain later kung ano yung ginagawa niya, but um, I just want to show lang itong part na to. So... Ayan. So, once na makita natin it's working na hello world yung nire-return kapag nag-get tayo, parang sineset up po na, muna natin para mag-exist. Yes. So, we are setting up yung server para mag-exist. So, in essence, we just actually um, yung itong code na to, yan, we just sort of make it mo, a little bit more parang separated in, in files. So, in, in, in essence, parang, ayan, sige, we have this 
na um, we have this to run yung server pero if we have let's say logger false may kita natin na wala na yung logs itself kasi we have automatically said na logger false pag dito true nalabas na yung logs so mas maganda may logs now saan nang saan nang galing yon we have put it dito sa options um dito sa options uh when creating yung fastify we have to put yung options and then it creates an app itself yung server app and then we have defined na kapag nag app.get slash which is yung ano um yung ah uh, tawag mo dyan, yung eto yung home ito yung i-return niya hello world na json Now, if I also added, let's say, test, ganyan, hello world 2, pag naglagay ako ng test, ah, uh, wait lang. So, ayun, lalabas na yung hello world 2. Uh, so, nagets ba? Nagets ba itong part na to? Um, just put it on the, um, Put it on the thread messages. <laughs> ano ba to? Chat box. Ah, uh, tumitigil yung utak ko. Now, ang isang pwede natin gawin is we can put it on, uh, so let's have it as services muna. And then, we have this folder services. And then, let's say, um, base. Base folder. Tapos, dito sa base folder, Gagawa tayo ng file na uh, home.js. Ngayon, ano tong home.js? Ito yung uh, export function uh, or async function home. Tapos, uh, request reply. Tapos, return lang natin yung uh, hello world. From home. So, ganyan siya. Tapos, let's just add lang a um, yep, uh, something na ano, na na tawag mo dyan. Dapat pala may return. Um, tama ba? Returns pala. Returns uh, a, a a something. So, ayan. This is the app uh, or home um, function. So, ayan. So, once on my home, what we can do, so I'll just delete this na. And then, import home from uh, services base home.js. So, ayan siya. And then, we can replace itong part na to. So, now, we have the ability to put itong home and then just sort of refactor everything. So, pagka bumalik tayo ulit, so, we are able to call a function that sort of gets yung um, nakikita natin ngayon. So, mas nagiging malinis in essence. So, like, let's say I can have a new uh, test.js, ganyan. We just copy ito. Test, uh, test function. Test, test. And then, we just sort of from app.js, we see itong part na to. So, from here, ayan. Tapos, we just replace this. And, pagka trinay ulit natin siya dito, world, hello world from test. So, um, in essence, we have the ability to add nga yung, uh, or make sure na mukha siyang malinis, in essence. So, ganyan siya. Now, pwede natin gawin to. Like, we can create app.post to create a post um Uh, post 
tawag mo dyan? Post na method and then we can reuse nga uh, we can reuse yung um, functions to do the the particular uh, request itself but the thing is we don't want to stop here we don't want to use this na parang kailangan mong tingnan sa code bag pa, paano siya mag work so we will need to use itong dalawang to pastify open api so open api glue we will install this so before that pala i'll i know i'll add this up all of them so feed uh make a running server so okay so we'll just git push ito and then we'll install itong open api glue as well as pastify swagger so, so we'll add a swag so, ano ang ginagawa nitong dalawang to? First and foremost, we'll open itong Swagger. Uh, we'll open muna yung open API. Glue. As we can see, we'll need to have an option. So, alisin muna natin to. We'll remove, uh, we'll comment this out una din. And then, we'll install uh, or we'll um, import our open API glue from pastify open API glue and then import um, our swagger as well. Uh, yeah, swagger from pastify Swagger. So, okay. So, now that we have that, we'll now register muna si Open API. We'll create muna itong options. So, const options. Wait one. Const options. So, we don't have a specification. We have we have a service, so we'll we'll add them up later. And then um, we don't need this. We don't need a prefix, muna. Um, we remove this. Um, and then itong specification na to is uh, we will add it here. Um, and then yung service is uh, something that we will set up in a bit teka wait lang napin ko lang yung aking gitlab na ano so ito yung back end ko I'll just copy yung aking <laughs> <laughs> yung aking ano mga pinagagawa sa buhay aha 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 okay there's a specification um we have the service service is a new and then security handlers okay so ang gagawin natin is wala muna to Um, tama ba? Options. Ah, wait. Okay. So, opts pala? Uh, or, uh, open API, API options. So, we'll just do that. And then, from here, nagawa tayo ng folder na specifications. And then, let's just add index.js. So, Ang gagawin ko dito is export um, cons uh, specification. 
which is a ano, something like this and then we can import it a specification from specification slash index.js uh, okay uh -huh. then we'll have it as pwede kasing ganito yung gawin natin or we can always say na ganyan lang siya and it will be the same then sige gawin muna natin to uh, on muna natin tong home so balik lang natin si home from the base yan okay module not found Ah, okay. So, kailangan ko daw install C AJV. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So, kailangan daw install si AJV kasi yun yung kailangan. So, what I did is to install si AJV, um, open API glue, and then si Swagger. So, okay. So, once that is done, um, we have set yung specification. And what is yung specification? Ang specification is, um, no, not this one, is, uh, I'll need to check yung aking specification file dito. Walang mapakita ko sa inyo kung ano itsura niya. Index. So, there's the, ano, the, specification. Ayan. So, I'll copy na lang muna ito. So, there's the servers. What are the servers? Ang servers is we can have this. Servers. I'll, I'll just add itong part lang na to para, ma, para mabilis. What it does is allows you to um have yung uh, a server that is localhost 8080 and then if you are using yung gitpod uh, we just get yung gitpod um, server natin so now that it's done info there's the description so we'll just get yung description from our um, index.js so, ikokopya ko lang to. So, I'm getting an FS or a read file from FS na module. Uh, I read the package.json uh, para lumabas to. We'll not use muna yung tags dito. So, the tags is wala pa. Paths are uh, wala pa. There is no um, external docs and then the components are wala pa as well as security so ganyan siya so this is yung basic um, specifications pwede nyong kopyahin on on the um, on the fold uh, yung folder natin so once that is done just remove this again and then, uh, ang gagawin lang natin is to go back sa SRC. I'm just going to copy itong um, open API glue na registration which um, register yung open API options. Now, the documentation is not yet done uh, from here. So, uh, app pala. Sorry. App. Wait one. App is not defined. Why? What? Mm 
index.js Okay, ano na naman ang yari? Nakalimutan ba ako? Options. Sige na nga. Maglalagay ako ng service. So, gagawa ko ng service na, na file, index.js. I'll have a um, import home from base home.js. And then from here is uh, export class um, services service home is equals to home para meron lang nung ano. Let's see. SRC service index. Ah, sorry. Ba't ako may ganito? Yan. Once that is done, I'm going to put it here. Import service from services index.js we create a service file so I'm just going to check lang kung tama yung ginagawa ko oh not this one at the JS Sige, lagyan na natin ng no additional Ayaw pa rin Aha Um, ganito mag-debug guys so, gumagana sa hello world dito lagay natin dito gumagana ulit lagay natin dito hello world um, ah, so meaning kung wala dito App is not defined. So, so this is yung app. Okay. Oops. Hello. Okay. 
Okay, so gumana na. Ah, shams. Di ba? Ito yung sinasabi ko eh. Uh, security should be an array. So, security should be an array. Ayan. Sorry guys, kung naguguluhan kayo. External doc should be a URL. Ano ba ang external docs ko? On our specification. Um, index. Our external docs is Ayan. So, kukupuyan ko na lang to Kasi tinatamad ako. Ayan. Okay. So, meron pa ba? Kakaroon pa ba tayo ng problema? Okay. Wala na. So, okay na siya. Ito ay gumagana na. Pero wala pa rin tayong documentation. So, we'll create ngayon yung docs. Uh, yung site for documentation para mabilis. How do we do that? We add yung swagger na um documentation so we'll create ito lang it will just copy nga itong part na to sa app so we use the same specification route prefix docs and if it's not a production we can expose yung route so we'll just app um app that tama ba Sino mauuna? Swagger muna. Okay. App that register um, Swagger and then Swagger options. Now, to test kung gumagana to, we'll add a particular specification sa path. The path would be ito and then ang um, gagawin natin dito sa path na to will now follow yung open specification or open API specification where we design yung path itself so open API object paths is a paths object so we check it out so ito yung path itself yan kita natin path and then we'll describe na get so ganito siya um uh, no, nope. we put it here. Yan. Now, the thing is, naka ay siyang ganyan. So, I'll add um, save dev semi standard para mabilis to fix it agad. Um, Yeah, okay, so N NPX semi standard dash dash fix. Oops, nagtunog. Dash dash fix. Um, and then enter. Automatically, if you fix nga yung ano into yung tamang um, part. So, mamaya na yung app. Itong app is not defined sa index.js. Um, actually, uh, or we can just put it uh, let up this up and tapos unexpected token. Okay, uh, okay, so ngayon meron tayo ng. Um, and ito, returns, returns home, then 200, it's a, the description is, uh, returns, hello world, uh, or home function, and then, um, we also have yung operation ID, which is yung home, 
to connect it dito sa ating services na ang pangalan ay home. And then, after that, uh, we return an application JSON with a schema na object. And then, ang uh, properties is uh, hello, which is a type string. And then, ang example is world. So, kapag tiningnan natin to, um, so, wala yung test. Siyempre, wala yung test, no? Tapos kapag, kasi, route, get, test is not found. So, source code is 404. Ayan, hello world from home. Now, if we do yung docs, automatically, yung mga pinaglalagay natin doon, may ganyan siyang lalabas na page. Wala tayong ginawang front-end, wala tayong ginawang CSS and so forth, pero meron tayong maayos na documentation na kapag pinindot natin to, we can try it out. We can see yung example. If there's a code 200, uh, HTTP code 200, meaning nag-work siya ng tama, um, ito yung kalalabasan. If we execute it, ito yung response. O, ba? Astig. Nagawa na tayo ng automatic documentation from the setup that we have as of the moment. It's a bit confusing if you look at it as of the moment, especially kung ngayon nyo lang to nakita agad. But this is most, this is yung most likely na um, uh, tago dyan? Most likely na uh, set up na gagawin natin. And then, we'll just refactor from here. So, ang ginawa ko lang talaga is, uh, coming from the package.json, itong package.json, um, what I did is copy it, get the name, and make it into a title, description, version, at saka license, which can be seen here, the title, the description, the license, and the uh, version. So, yun. Once that is done, um, the servers can be found here. Itong servers na to is itong localhost at saka yung gitpod development server as we have put here. And then, we just define yung specification that our open API is 3.10 which is we are using OAS3. And then, uh, we have yung servers. The info is description, version, title. The license is the license. Tapos kung ano man yung URL ng license na yun. Um, tags is we can set the tags as, um, let's say, general. Uh, or, um, uh, ano nga ulit pag tags? Sorry, nalimutan ko na. Actually, titingnan na lang natin dito. Um, oops, sorry. Not this one. Um, open API tags object, which is this one. And then we have the name and description. So the name is, let's say, base and then description. Um, base um, uh, URL paths. Then we can just say na tag is base. Um, tags should be an array. So tags daw should be an array. So we just say na ganito. So makikita nyo naman kapag may error, it will say kung ano man yung error. So at, at Kahit ako nakakalimot din ako, kaya hindi rin talaga ako naniniwala sa exam. Kasi wala kang way para tingnan kung, kung tama ba yung sagot mo habang nag exam Kasi kung ano lang nasa utak ko. Tingnan nyo ngayon, di ba? Nagkakamali pa rin ako. <laughs> anyway, so kapag ganun, may kita nyo kapag ni-refresh ko to, we have a base. na Base na yung tags natin. And then base URL paths. Get is already part of that path. Now, if we um, uh, check it here, mamaya, uh, this is yung ating setup. So, um, I'll be 
git add all na lang dito. I'll also do the commit from here. So, uh, fit uh, feature which is add a basic sample template. So, git push. Okay. Um, okay ba yun, guys? I think we are done with like setting up our um what uh setting up our open api uh do you want to take a break and then let's do yung attach attaching the database or um next week na lang Sinong nagsasabing next week na lang? Taas ang kamay. Sinong nagsasabing... Sir, ano po yung Jason? Ah, Jason. Okay, sige. Um, okay, sir, okay lang po i-fork yung... Um, teka. Sagutin muna natin mga questions. Okay lang po ba i-fork yung repository mo mamaya para ma-review? Yes, yes. You can fork the repository. I can give you yung... Um, teka, git push muna. Ah, na git push ko na. So, I can give you ito. So, this is the link. So, that you can see yung repository. Play with it um, as well. Ano yung fork? Ah, okay. Sige. Um, yung una muna. Yung JSON. Okay. So, JSON is... What is a JSON? JSON is the JavaScript object notation. So, J JavaScript object notation is a parsable string... Na from, ito kasi, this is an object. So, JavaScript object is this one. And to become a string, ang ginagawa lang niya talaga is ganito. Um, ginagawa niya as a string na um, hello uh, world from home. So, kaya pag tinignan nyo yung ano, yung, so, anin lang ako, babalik lang ako sa part na to I'll just show lang itong part na to So kapag tiningnan niyo tong um uh, development tool sa browser niyo if we look at the response it's a it's actually just a string uh, ask lang sir kung di, if this video will be posted. Yes, it will be posted on YouTube and the YouTube link will be put here. So, going back, um, this is a object na. So, meaning it's parsable into a JavaScript object. But the response is actually a string. So, if we look at the headers, um, it's actually the return, uh, the response the response header is an application JSON, which is actually a string. Tapos, anything that is being read um, as an application JSON is automatically turned into a JavaScript object. Now, um, I would suggest for those who are still new in JavaScript, in the world of JavaScript, you should watch yung videos ko at TJ Learns to Code. Uh, you should watch yung videos ko on um, JavaScript basics for the web. Uh, ka. Ah, saan na yun? Yeah. So, this is yung video ko before. You should watch it. Um, but this is sort of like a basic JavaScript. Ano? So, what is variables, what is scoping, primitives, arrays, and objects, expressions, conditions, loops, functions, and classes, error handling, call callback, and promises. And then, on the callbacks and promises, dun yung maiintindihan bakit ako naglalagay ng async at saka await uh, because these are promises that um, are done on a different 
um, parang uh, it just make sure that the code is ano is uh, para siyang linear in essence instead of naka um, uh, then uh, then catch yung promise then na then and catch kasi itsura nito kapag tatawagin mo dapat is home um, tapos teka parang ganito siya pagtawag sa kanya home uh, then tapos yung uh, result of that which is a um, function na gagawin mo into this if there's an error you catch it error ganyan so to understand itong piece of code na to you need to watch up until the callbacks and promises to understand it Yung HTML manipulation and interactivity, this is a bit needed in terms of like, um, uh, or it will be needed in essence pagdating sa front end natin. So, just to give you a heads up. So, again, this is yung kailangan yung makita agad uh, for the sake of understanding what JavaScript is. Um, there, I will put other um, other JavaScript um, resources so that you are up to speed on your JavaScript uh, ability to read uh, JavaScript code. Now, may isang question dito. What is fork? If you are a, uh, you you'll see this, and then merong part kasi dito na. Um, Ayun. Fork. It means fork your own copy of the repository to your account. What what it does is, kunyari, if a fork nyo, um, well, because I already have my own, so hindi ko na mapo-fork. But on this part, um, once na finork nyo, oh, bakit may pull request ako dito? Mamamaya na yan. Uh, pag pag finork nyo, you just copy itong repository na to into your own um, GitHub account. So, meron kayong copy ng COM700AY21S1 backend. And then, pwede nyo paglaruan siya sa GitPod nyo by clicking on yung GitPod or just adding yung GitPod uh, ano, yung GitPod.io slash uh, pound sign. So, it uh, starts agad yung ano yung repository mo. Um, any other questions before we go? I think siguro in the next week ko na lang yung database. You need to ano to get acquainted first with this. Run it first. Uh, make sure you run and understand muna yung yung etong code repository na to before we go dun sa database. Any other questions for this one? Okay. Going once. Um, wala na, guys. Hello. Hi. Wala na. Okay, sige. So, kung wala na, I'll just see you next week. Uh, we'll install yung database from, uh, from here. We'll, we'll, uh, how to install yung database. Processing pa po. <laughs> okay lang yan. Um, just post, uh, use yung ating classroom to post your questions. Um, or maybe dun sa YouTube din. Uh, if, if you have questions, just, just post your comments and I'll try to answer them next week. Okay, uh, so I'll stop the recording from here. Uh,